Being human in this world is a curse. The lack of mana energy in our bodies doomed us forever. Mana is what rules our world. It is power in its purest form. Our only choice after we are born is to surrender to a life of slavery to those who wield mana. Which is not so different from the life we have hidden out there. Many of us are killed whenever our encampments and villages are found. But this time, it was different. They came to destroy, but no one died that night. Specific humans were chosen and taken away from their families. That's when some of us decided to hit back. Okay, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Mana Spark. It's a, I, uh, the developers said it was kind of a, was it a midpoint between Binding of Isaac and Dark Souls? So that's always kind of an interesting claim. It's a, it's a lot. That's some. That's a pretty, pretty heavy weight uh, uh, claim to to try and support, but it could be cool. Uh, let's see. Which I was gonna see if I could find it. I got the key for it a couple of days ago, and I wanted to read. There it is. Yeah, Dark Souls plus Binding of Isaac. Uh, action RPG, deep new combat system, roguelike elements, and progression heavily based on choices and skill. And yeah, so we'll see if this actually managed to live up to it. But, as always, I'm more than willing to play anything that has those two things ascribed to that. There's another roguelike uh, coming out soon called Gone Viral that very much is trying to do the uh, Binding of Isaac thing. So I'm kind of curious how that's going to go. Okay, so looks like we've got bow and arrow more than anything else. This could be kind of fun. Nope, can't shoot those. There you are. The trail goes in this direction. These gates and stairs in the middle of the forest are so weird. We should keep looking for clues around this area. It's the only chance we may see our families and friends again. My cart won't fit in here. I'll find another way around. We meet again soon. But yes, I've been itching for a new roguelike. Uh, Gone Viral is the one that I think I'm looking forward to the most. Uh... As far as upcoming roguelikes go, followed by, like, Blood Card and Summoner's Fate. This one just kind of fell in my lap. Apparently the developers, uh... Apparently the developers just looked up, um... Ow. The developers, uh, were, like, looking up, uh, YouTubers that cover indie games and whatnot. And <laughs> apparently I was just always there, so it's like, alright, let's, uh, let's see if he likes it. I'm liking the visuals so far, and the gameplay seems fine. Look at the place I found. If we're serious about finding what happened to the people of our village, we can't just keep running around like fools. We can set up an encampment here, so we... What's that you're holding? Holy crap, that's a completely real and charged rune. It's a magic stone that can hold small charges of mana energy for future use. Of course you've never seen one. It's utterly and insanely illegal for any human to carry one of these. But why would goblets be carrying it around here? Oh, I have an idea. Give me the rune. I'll try using it to make a bright light in the forest so people coming from our village can see it and join us. Thanks. Keep an eye around and see if you can find anything suspicious. I'll be on my way to find more people to help, help on this. And my indie rep precedes me. I'm really liking that. I've been getting a lot of uh, press emails from a lot of folks. Uh, idea Factory reached out to me. Uh... Sega. Sega's just throwing games at me now, which I, I, I'm really appreciative of. Uh, and obviously loads of indie games, to the point where I went to PAX and more developers recognized me than than, uh, than fans. Apparently one fan recognized me while I was at PAX and was too shy to say hi. Okay. Okay, so leave meat on ground. 
Uh, you want to save the food for later. I don't actually know how it exactly works. No, is this... Okay. That's kind of neat. Oh! It shoots at you. Okay. I was a little worried that it was just going to be a totally boring... Uh, I thought it was going to be like a totally boring like static melee plant and I'm like, that's not... Oh, is this... Yeah, it's open. Okay. I gotcha. But yeah, so far working, working out fairly well. I'm hoping... When they say Binding of Isaac, I, I honestly have no idea. I've I've yet to actually really see the comparisons between Binding of Isaac and Dark Souls. I mean, it's got dodging. It doesn't seem like it's got a hefty stamina system uh, or management system I have to worry about. I'm hoping it has a Binding of Isaac style upgrade system, but who knows? Okay, so what's this? What are you? Sure, Spider Touch. Slow down enemies when hit. All right, basically. Uh, that's, that's familiar. Oh, and it looks like we're just repeatedly going down the exact same, um... Uh, we're going down the exact same, um... Uh, staircase every single time. Eh, that works. Yeah, I might turn the, uh, music back up. Looks like the enemies try and, like, uh... Try and aim ahead of you. We'll see. It's more of a hit-and-run style game than I thought it would be, which I actually don't mind. Also, the spider touch means when you hit them, not when they hit you, so that's good. I was afraid it was going to be one of those where it's like, uh, you cannot, uh, you know, it, it only triggers when the enemy actually, you know, physically harms you. Which is kind of lame-ish. Okay, so we've got to find a lever. Oh, right. Lever's right here over here. I totally forgot about it. Isn't Beyond Good and Evil coming out soon? I think the new one's coming out sometime next year? I don't remember. I got a I got a stupid amount of games coming out in my uh in the next couple days, and I'm really looking forward to it. All your one runes are now hidden here. Someone will come to take them to the encampment as fast as possible. Neat. Okay, one coin to activate. Slows down enemies three coins. Alright. Shoots one more projectile, more chance to find the other twin. Health up, chance of enemies dropping gold when hitting you. Projectiles deal double damage after bouncing off walls. Let's go Twin Leaf Sprout. Shoots one more projectile, more chance to find the other twin. So does that mean we can get uh, multiple of these? Because that'd be cool. I'm liking the power-up system so far. That's... I like power-up systems in games. Uh, by Whenever I hear a, uh, a game advertise like... Binding of Isaac on its list, I'm like, if it can live up to, if it can live up to the, you know, to the name, that'd actually be great. Uh, Gone Viral, I played at PAX and I, I really enjoyed it, and that had promise. And like, if, if there's a bunch of interesting, uh, you know, upgrades you can get in synergies and combos and whatnot. Then that'll... Ow! Oh! Oh, that hurt. Okay, one of these guys threw an axe. I'm assuming, uh, Grogbull the, the Trogbarian here. But yeah, two damage right off the bat. That's, that's tough. Alright, what's this? One free food on each exit room. Okay, so he's got his own ranged attack. At least you can see when he's going to aim. I wonder if I can break his shield. Oh, that was tighter than I wanted it to be. Alright, there we go. And we've got another one. Probably wait for him to come into this room. Yeah, Risk of Rain 2 is looking like it's going to be a great game. Yes! I saw that when I was at PAX, but their, their uh, table was extremely full. Which is... I would say frustrating, but like honestly, I'm going to I'm going to play Risk of Rain 2 regardless. Oh, that was closer than I wanted it to be. Ow. Oh, dying. Half heart left. Okay. Let's keep eating. Nothing here. 
I'll have to turn up the... Let's actually go... Let's turn up the music a little bit now. It was pretty loud when we lo loaded in the game, but now it, now it's, like, ridiculously quiet. Okay. But yeah, I, uh, I got to see a little bit of the gameplay of Risk of Rain 2 while I was there. And it, I mean, it looks amazing. It it's always looks amazing. Um, and I'm hoping... I'm... Uh, I'm hoping I can get get my hands on it at some point and play it. I don't know. I, I really... I really dig... Uh, Risk of Rain 1. It just... Oh, you know what? That's something I should probably mess with. Can I change audio? Let's turn the sound effects down. Because the music was quiet, but the sound effects were high. Nope. Yeah, I might have to scum the AI by, uh... By ambushing them around doors and corners and stuff. This is all big, one big room. All right. Whoop. That turtle movement is not as substantial as I'd like it to be. Okay. At least the enemies telegraph very well what they're going to do. And the fact that there's just a arrows everywhere amuses uh, amuses me to no end. Oh, I wonder if this is going to have a meta percussion system as well. I'm assuming that's what the mana sparks are for. Because yeah, I will admit, I actually really like roguelikes with meta progression systems nowadays. Oh, okay. Skelemage. Ah! Skelemage with fireballs that come out of... Oh, runes on the tables. Gotcha. Wait, that's just the brimstone symbol. Wait. Actually, does anybody know what that symbol normally means? Because, like, it's an actual symbol. It's not just Binding of Isaac that has that. I'm just gonna hang out over here where it's not dangerous. Okay. You might be able to shoot... Nope, you can't shoot... Shoot those out of the sky. Alright, I'll just hang out back here until, uh... Until things happen. Let's see, was it Rogue Legacy that started the whole meta progression thing? Uh, can I leave? No, there's something there? Oh no, it's... it hasn't stopped. Uh... This is awkward. Unfortunately, the twin leaf shot has has severely reduced my accuracy. They're not going away either. Oh, never mind. Uh, my my turtle setup is actually more helpful. Uh, please tell me they're gone. They're not, in fact, gone. That's awful. Makes this a lot harder. It doesn't look like there's much of a reason to explore in this, unfortunately. Okay. It means sulfur. Good to know. Alchemical symbol for sulfur. I do wish you could destroy the boxes and barrels. I don't even care if there's anything in them. I just want to destroy them because they're in my way. Like, maybe if you could roll through boxes and barrels, that'd be kind of a neat, neat trick. So what's, uh, what's meta progression? Meta progression in a roguelike. I, technically any game, but it's, uh, it's a term I specifically use for, for roguelikes. It's, uh, when you die in, I guess the easiest example is Rogue Legacy. Every bit of gold that you're carrying with you can be used to upgrade your next run and all future runs. You know, you've got this castle that you're... Adding rooms to that give you stat bonuses, unlock classes, items, so on and so forth. That's meta progression. And honestly, I really dig it uh, when roguelikes have that. Because it's a... It's an easy way of of making it so that... You know, the standard roguelike deaths don't feel wasted. Uh, and there are roguelikes that remain fun without that sort of thing. The knowledge. It's a little hairy ball. It's I know it's supposed to be a beholder, but that's actually uh, you can't actually uh, 
call things beholders in um You can't actually call things beholders in uh in outside of D&D, &D, which is amusing. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, there we go. Bookshelves in the way. Okay, so I can shoot down the web shots. Oh no, oh no, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, don't do... If both arrows hit, we're good. But if they don't, not so good. Come on. I like the twin arrow twinning. But it's a bit of a problem for me. There we go. That's both arrows. Whoa! That looked weird. Ooh! That could have gone real bad. I'm not even going to be commentating for parts of this, I apologize. Uh. There we go. Timed that one well. Yeah, you have to hit him from the front, you can't hit him from the side. Well. We get a lever, some mana. I'm assuming the mana is the uh, progression system, but I could be wrong. Oh, does this unlock a new character or a new uh, townsperson? Actually, that's the person from the um, the title screen. Jashka, the Expo Guard. I'm so glad to see a human face again. What happened with that giant eyeball that turned me into a statue? You defeated it. Thank you so much. An encampment. Of course I want to join. I'm pretty sure the answer to the attack and those kidnappings is down here in these fetid tunnels. I'll make my way back to the encampment you mentioned. See ya. All right, new character unlocked. Jessica, the crossbow guard. Fun. Probably more accurate, slower fire rate. Maybe. It plays more like Enter the Gungeon than Isaac. Yeah, I can see that. It's just, it's using an Isaac uh, upgrade system. Or Isaac or, oh, geez, this got busier. Uh, either Isaac or, like, Risk of Rain, maybe. I'm going to leave that alone. I don't trust that right now. Seems like we've got a lot of traps. Oh, I can I can shoot these schmucks. All right, you get the arrow spam. Ah! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! That's a lot of fire. Okay, dropping some runes. I don't know what the shit's going on down over there. It's honestly a little concerning. Oh, so I'm actually perfectly accurate. As a note. Ah! That sucked. I was trying to shoot out the fires, but my ac my accuracy is atrocious. Okay. They let you save death gifts. That's amusing. I still think there's people out there that can join us. Give me more runes and I can get their attention in the forest. Search for volunteers for two more runes. I need more runes. Okay. What else do we have? Greetings. Good to see someone working to uncover the current events. I'll be glad to help you as soon as I get rid of this mess. 